It's been almost five months since the Hollywood Writers Guild went on strike. They said, we need more money. We need better benefits. We need more protections for doing our part and playing a role in the destruction of modern day entertainment. Because let's face it, as we've seen with so many of these products coming out of Hollywood right now, it's far more about the message and identity politics and pushing a woke agenda than it is about telling an actual good story. But nonetheless, it's been five months since the writers went on strike and over the weekend, we heard they're close. They're almost there. They're finally going to make a deal with the studios. And then finally, very late last night, it happened. It's a deal. WGA and AMPTP reached tentative agreement to end the writer's strike. Now, that doesn't mean that this is going to immediately happen because these are just people that are negotiating. It's got to go and be voted on by the union, all of these different things. But in all likelihood, within the next several days, an agreement will be ratified. And the writers, after probably 150 days by the time it's all said and done, will finally be going back to work, which you can look at that in a positive way or you can look at it as what it is. It just means that some of the people that took part in the destruction of the entertainment industry after taking five months off and in some cases getting paid to not work will now be back at work. WGA reaches tentative deal, potentially ending the Hollywood strike. The Writers Guild of America reportedly reached a tentative agreement with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers late Sunday that could potentially end the 146-day industry-wide strike. Keep in mind, after this happens, the studios still need to deal with the actors because the actors are, have also been on strike for like three months at this point. So they're going to take care of the writers first, then it'll come the actors. I think most people think that'll fall into place pretty quickly after, but we'll see. News broke after four days of heavy negotiations as the writers and studios worked on another three-year contract that would address streaming residuals, staffing requirements, and artificial intelligence. Details of the tentative deal have not been made public. The strike will remain in effect until the Guild officially votes to ratify the deal this coming Tuesday. In the meantime, picketing has been put on hold. We can say with great pride that this deal is exceptional, with meaningful gains and protections for writers in every sector of the membership. The WGA's negotiating committee told members in an email, to be clear, no one is to return to work until specifically authorized by the Guild. We're still on strike until then, the message continued. So it looks like finally, after nearly five months, the writers will be headed back to work. I think that the studios, the writers, even the actors to a certain extent, all of these people have played a role in the downfall of the entertainment industry. You want to know the reason why people weren't sitting there clamoring for the writers to get back to work, why they didn't have a bunch of public support Support like they did the last time this happened, it's because for the most part, people have kind of walked away. They don't care about the writers because they know they're part of the problem. They don't care. It's been five months since they've watched Jimmy Fallon or, or Jimmy Kimmel or whoever these stupid fucks are on late night television because people increasingly have been tuning out. When you look at the number of people that are going to the theaters this year, once again, with very high ticket prices, the amount of actual admissions is significantly down. Hollywood is losing money everywhere, at the box office and on streaming, and of course, on dying linear television. But the writers felt like this is what we deserve. And, you know, who knows what they got? We'll see what these contracts look like. I do know one thing is for sure, though. A lot of these people who think they might be getting all these guaranteed jobs and stuff like that, I'm not sure there's going to be as many jobs going around as they think. Uh, considering how many different TV shows have been in production the past couple of years as people have tried to make this push for streaming, I think that's going to be significantly pared down in the next coming years. A lot of people in the industry also think that. So for some of these people who think, yes, we're going to have more guarantees for these jobs, I don't think there's going to be as many jobs to go around. I think they're going to drastically cut down the amount of production they're doing because it's not sustainable. They can't keep this up. So in all likelihood, while some people are celebrating that they're going to get bigger guarantees, a lot of people, a lot of riders, probably in the next six months, year, year and a half, are going to find themselves unable to find a job. But I guess that's just the way it works. A lot of these riders have proven time and time again to just be woke activist hacks that can't write for shit and all they do is destroy entertainment but it looks like for now, they're going to be going back to work. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.